Okay, so here's my plan. Mike's making a, he's doing a drum clinic tomorrow at the Long McQuaid, somewhat near my house. And uh, I'm going to buy a disguise. Hopefully a good enough disguise that I can go down there and not be recognized by him. And I'm going to watch the whole thing. I'm going to take a bunch of videos of him. And then I'm going to send him a text later and be like, hey man, excellent drop clinic. And I'll send him the video and then he'll be very surprised to know that I was there. Hopefully not recognizing me. Hopefully I'm, it's a good enough disguise that uh, it looks like I'm an actual person and not like a guy in disguise. Because if I look like a guy in disguise, first of all, I think the Long McQuaid is going to think that I'm robbing them. <laughs> The second of all, uh, that kids will recognize me and think that I'm dressing in a disguise to disguise myself from them. And that's not my intention. I mean, it's a little my intention. I don't want to talk to anyone. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to go. It's a good thing it's around Halloween, so I can get a maybe passable wig. Only issue is maybe my beard is going to be a dead giveaway and I'm not willing to shave it. So I bought my disguise. And as I was bringing it up to the counter, I encountered a little issue that I was not counting on. Not counting there. Uh, the woman said to me, she was like, Ow! Who you being for Halloween? And I looked down at the stuff and I came back quick. I came back strong. I didn't even think about it. I just said, Riggy Martin. I'm being Riggy Martin, baby. And then she looked down at the stuff and waited a while. And went, This is not a very good Ricky Martin costume. I came back quick again. I came back quick and hard. I said, I know. And then she kind of senses something weird was up and I left. This ain't gonna work. This is not gonna work. Okay. So I just saw Mike. Drove down to the mall. Hung out with him for a bit. And I told him that I couldn't make it tonight because he was under the impression that I was coming. Really, there's no reason for me not to come. But I told him Chris got tickets, last minute tickets to the Leafs game, and uh, that I'm going with him. So he is no longer expecting me, and he certainly will not be expecting my alter ego. So slip your t-shirt on, make sure your belt's done up just right. Slip on that sweater that you bought from Value Village, and now it So I'm here, I'm late, which is a problem, because now i got to make a scene, which is going to suck. He's going to recognize me almost immediately. Got to get my soul patch on. Okay, I've lost the soul patch. Oh, the soul patch was what made the costume. Yeah, I got it. Gonna have to tape it on. Sorry if this looks like a Blair Witch right now, but I am panicking. Oh, that's not gonna do, that's not gonna do. will have to do. Oh, and that'll do just fine. Okay, let's wrap this thing, you guys.
sure you've had more than enough of me talking right now. So without further ado, Michael Iraq. really rocked our asses that night. He rocked our asses raw. But when he wasn't rocking our asses, he was prattling on witlessly about the drums, an instrument that no one in their right mind could force themselves to care about. After standing there for about an hour, I realized the joke was over. Or perhaps the joke was in fact on me. Went pretty well. I don't think you recognize me. We're in the clear. I just sent him a text message. I said, hey man, how'd it go? That was really embarrassing. I don't ever want to repeat it. At what point did you realize I was there? Immediately. Yeah. Immediately you realized I was there? 